morning, Ithaca High School. Welcome back to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Corey Easton. Due to Mr. Shine's ever-increasing coffee addiction, this week's budget did not include enough money for graphics. And I'm Evie Schreiner. This week, we talk about an update on Jamal Khashoggi, the death of Stan Lee, news from the U.S.-Mexican border, and IHS sports. It's confirmed. The CIA concluded that the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salam, had ordered the killing of the Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, despite the claims from the Saudi Arabian government declining their involvement in the gruesome killing. But Trump claims that Saudi Arabia is a spectacular ally. He continued to tell reporters, quote, they give us a lot of jobs, they give us a lot of business, a lot of economic development, unquote. In response to a question about the killing of the journalist, Vice President Mike Pence says, quote, the murder of Jamal Khashoggi was an atrocity. It was also an affront to a free and independent press, and the United States is determined to hold all those accountable who are responsible for the murder, unquote. If you missed the news, Jamal Khashoggi, a former Saudi royal insider, and journalist went missing inside the Saudi Arabian consulate in Turkey. It was then confirmed that he was killed inside the consulate by men sent in by the Saudi government. The CIA also examined an audio file given by Turkey. Trump's administration on Thursday imposed penalties on 17 individuals over their alleged roles in the killing of Khashoggi. On November 12th, Stan Lee, the creator of comic book characters like Spider-Man and the X-Men, died at the age of 95. In response to the many people around the country mourning his death, Comedian Bill Maher wrote a blog post criticizing this response. Quote, The assumption everyone had back then, both the adults and the kids, was that comics were for kids, and when you grew up, you moved on to big boy books without the pictures. Unquote. Maher wrote. He also commented on how he did not find it hard to imagine Donald Trump would get elected by a society that views comic books and comic book movies as profound mediations on the human condition as a dumb culture. Unquote. Stanley's company, POW Entertainment, responded to this in an open letter addressing Mars comments. Quote, One lesson Stan taught so many of us was tolerance and respect, and thanks to that message, we are grateful that we can say you have a right to your opinion that comics are childish and unsophisticated. Many said the same about Dickens, Steinbeck, Melville, and even Shakespeare. Unquote. The letter then finished with probably the most famous quote connected to Stanley. With great power must come great responsibility. In other news, Border Patrol agents fired tear gas upon a peaceful march of migrants seeking asylum on the Mexican side of the border near Tijuana. The crowd included multiple children that were exposed to the gas. President Trump has come forward in support of the decision to use tear gas, but legal experts contest whether this use of force was legal against people who are not U.S. citizens. It is unclear whether the agents will be held accountable, but we can hope for a peaceful resolution in the future. Now to Jackson and Ben on our segment, Laugh and Notes, for s more about IHS sports. Thanks, Cora. This Tuesday, six IHS student-athletes signed their national letters of intent to continue their athletics at the college level. Reed Baker, Kylie Howe, Juliana Seguiz, and Maria Vieira for lacrosse, Seneca Blakely Armitage for soccer, and Derek Tomrelli for baseball and hockey. Last night in their season opener, the IHS boys hockey team defeated New Hartford by a score of 4-3 with a goal from Sam Hines Klumpa and a hat-trick from Michael Stormberger. In winter sports previews this week, we have girls hockey and boys swim and dive. Looking to improve on their sectional championship, def championship defeat one season ago, girls hockey is led by senior captains Kilty Goodrow, Reed Baker, and Kylie Howe, and junior Nicole Nixon. The girls began their season last week with a matchup of Williamsville East out of Buffalo. For boys swim and dive, the team begins their season on Friday at the Hilton Invitational and will seek to extend their cha uh, sectional championship streak to three years and continue their nearly 10-year undefeated dual meet stretch. Now, back to Cora and Evie. Here we have... Our beautiful puppy, Nova. Nova. She's eight months old. I'm gonna go pet it too. Hi, Papa. It's so cute. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week, guys. Jess. <laughs> you know, today I just woke up.